we're doing question of the week number 19 today. And the question that we're going to talk about, um, it's really, it's kind of a fascinating topic. Um, but I had, I think, three people ask the same kind of question uh, on Facebook. So I'm definitely going to do this question for you today. And that question is, do we reincarnate with the same souls over and over again? Do we have like a group of souls that we tend to come back around again and, um, and do other lifetimes together? Uh, or do we, you know, just have all new souls in our experience each time? And I think that this is somewhat of an intuitive answer for most people, uh, whether you have some awareness of the afterlife or not. Um, of course, no one can know the afterlife until we get there. Uh, and so um, this is not an absolute, but it is one, an intuition for me, and two, something that my own guides and my own soul have shared with me. Um, but the straight answer is yes, we absolutely come back again and again with the same souls. Um, yeah, there can be new souls in our experience. There's no any kind of rules or laws or anything that say that we have to be with the same souls over and over. But um, what I've discovered is, especially doing past life revelations for people, which I find so fascinating, I do a lot of relationship past life revelations where someone will give me their name and the name of someone um, that they feel this connection to or they feel this energy towards that they can't quite uh, peg why that's happening in this lifetime either like a really strong att attraction or maybe a really strong repulsion or there's this um, nagging feeling that this person um, that they're going to lose this person, um, but they have no explanation for that reason or reason for that. Uh, and the very first encounter I ever had that was when I was a first time mother and uh, my son was born. And this is before I knew anything about past lives or um, anything in this esoteric kind of <clears throat> existence I live in now. But basically, I was really worried. Um, about losing him and I think that's a real natural fear for all new mothers but that fear really never went away and then when I had my second child my daughter um, I didn't have that nagging fear it was like I knew she was going to be okay and I knew she was going to have this beautiful long life with me and but with my son I I always carried this little bit of worry that something was going to happen to him um, and it just never went away and so I actually went to see someone about it uh, I think when he was about 11 or 12 just to see if I could you know, I went to see a hypnotist about it to see if I could kind of work through it. And she took me through past life um, uh, reading. And, and basically what I discovered was that I had lost my son in the last life that I had with him um, because of his own reckless behavior and that I had tried to warn him and keep him from doing something. And, you know, as boys will be boys, he thought he was invincible and he went out and he was killed. So, um, once I knew that, it really gave me this incredible peace to know that I could just let go and relax and that that was just old stuff in the soul's consciousness kind of breaking through. So I believe that when you meet people that you've been in past lives with or you go into, um, even if it's an immediate kind of connection, there have been a lot of wonderful ladies in my life recently, um, wonderful people that I have come into contact with that I felt instantaneously trust for them and I felt instantaneous love for them. And that was that was kind of an odd experience because we tend to let people build up into our lives. And for some reason, I just felt this immediate sense of, I can trust you, I feel love for you, and a really great feeling. And I knew, now knowing what I know, that this is because we'd had past lives together. There was a soul um, family connection. That's what I call the soul family. And we do have these groups of souls that we resonate with, that 
really match our frequency. And so when we pass to the other side, we tend to unite with those souls. So you'll unite with your family most often. You'll unite with your family that you had in this lifetime, but you will also unite with your soul family. And um, some of them are incarnated with you and some of them are not at this time, at this time on our timeline of continuum. Um, but you will feel a kinship and a deep soul connection of experiences together and like-mindedness. And so we do tend to choose to incarnate together. Hey, let's go take this journey together and we'll hook up at this time and we'll meet and you'll bring this out in me and I'll bring this out in you. And sometimes that's not a positive experience. Sometimes um, somebody's gonna, I'm gonna come in and I'll betray you and then you'll get to have this amazing experience of forgiveness and, you know, um, and so there's this agreement. It's like playing together. It's very much like playing together. So um, there is a book, though, that I wanted to kind of tell you. If you're interested in this topic, um, there's the only book that I've ever read, and I've read a shitload of books. Um, the only book I've ever read that really kind of touches on this topic and does it really well is this book. And it's called The Journey of Souls. And basically what um, Dr. Newton does in this book is, um, I'll hold it up for you so you can write it down if you need to. He, he hypnotizes clients and um, it wasn't his original intention to do this life between lives kind of awareness, uh, but he would take his clients back um, to birth and then he would take them back to pre-birth. Uh, and then I think he also does where he takes them to um, past life deaths and then to the other side and then he has them describe what's happening. And what he discovered was that so many, oh, there's a big airplane flying over right now. <laughs> Sorry about that. What he discovered was that um, many of the souls or many of the clients that he had were having the same exact description of what the afterlife was like. Um, and so it really fascinated him and so he kind of dove in deeper into the studies. And then this book is based on um, what he discovered, what the majority of souls. So he didn't include in here things that maybe one or two people talked about. He included in here what was consistent across the board. So it's a pretty fascinating uh, book to read. But that will give you more description on group souls and um, your soul family and incarnating again with other other people that you have incarnated with several times. So I hope that answers the question. Um, I thought it was a great question and makes you maybe even step back and think about who are the people in my life that I just know I've been with again and again and again. And those people tend to be very close to you or they tend to be people that you just feel this instantaneous connection and trust with. So God bless and have a gorgeous, gorgeous week.